Let's start by talking about uh, Comeback Bobby Gentry. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about that? Sure, let's do it. Um, I love Bobby Gentry, Mm -hmm. as many do. Um, My husband and I wrote it. Paul Jefferson wrote the song with me. And we were, well, I had already had my show together called Legendary Ladies of Country. So I'd already been doing that show in Canada a fair bit, um, which honors all the legendary ladies, um, Patsy Cline, Tammy Wynette, Dottie West, Loretta Lynn, all that. Um, And so we were just talking about the ladies of country and the topic of Bobby Gentry came up and how her song Ode to Billy Joel was such a huge, huge hit across all the genres, not just country. And then all of a sudden she was just like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't imagine. Like, and so we were just talking about what might have been going through her head. Why did she do that? Did she just... Was she ill? Was she? Uh, did she have a breakdown? Did she just be like, you know what? I'm tired of people telling me what to do. I don't want to be in the spotlight anymore. I'm going over here. I don't know. I've watched interviews of her. She's very intelligent, very yeah. smart. Maybe she was just too smart for this business. I don't know. Like maybe she's like, this is bull. Beep, you know. And I'm out of here. I don't know. Well, I. But, th- sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So we were just talking about that, and like you know, we all have this. There's a lot of speculation. There's been tons of interviews about it. Oh, yeah. She's she's around somewhere. She's just not in the spotlight. So Close to Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's interesting. It's like, well, what if she came back? Like, what if she... So we wrote this song called Come Back, Bobby Gentry. Give us another chance. Give us another chance to see who you really are, what's in your heart. I would love to sit down and ask her that. She was in a unique position because she... Um... Let's see. She married a couple of times, but she married the guy that owns Harrah's. His last name was Hera. Oh. Because she was living out in Vegas. Yes, I read that. I think she has a son that performs in Reno, Nevada. Wow. But I don't think that was the Hera. I don't think she had a son with the Hera's guy. But also, she was one of the original investors in the Phoenix Suns at the NBA. And she sold her $50,000 stake for, like, millions. So she didn't need to be around a lot of the... Smart lady. Creeps in Nashville. Very business savvy. That's what I kind of, that's what my heart feels. I don't know. I would love to ask her one day. But I kind of feel like this woman was like, you people are creepy. Yeah. And I'm not going to stand here in my short skirt while you gawk at me and demand me to do things that I don't want to do. That's just my guess. Well, Bobby, Maybe. come on the show. We'd like to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, come on, Bobby. I Let's have it. a conversation. Would that not be amazing? You know that question when people ask of, of anyone in the world, who would you like to sit down and have dinner with? I want to sit down Bobby. and have a drink with Bobby Jedry. That'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.